Hi, and welcome to the Instructional Skills Workshop Online, where you'll have the opportunity to be a learner, a lesson designer, and a facilitator of online learning experiences. My name is Beth Hundy, and I'm an e-learning and curriculum specialist at the Center for Teaching and Learning. I'm looking forward to being one of your co-facilitators over the next six weeks. I'm a member of the Center for Research on Teaching and Learning in Higher Education, and I've taught graduate and undergraduate courses in geography, biology, and in higher education. Hi, my name is Dr. Stephanie Horsley, and I'm the Acting Associate Director for eLearning at the Center for Teaching and Learning. I'm also an adjunct professor and researcher at the Don Wright Faculty of Music, where I've developed and currently teach online, blended, and face-to-face -face courses for undergraduate and graduate students. Hey folks, Devin Vandenboomen here, and I'm the Acting Manager of eLearning and Information Services over at the Faculty of Education. I've been in e-learning for about 10 years now, working in both the public and private sectors, uh, doing things from healthcare to finance to higher education to technology companies, and working with uh, folks to bring their learning and development visions to an online space. I also just completed my own fully online degree. I just completed a master's in education specializing in educational technology and design, which means that I also have the student perspective of being uh, in, in an online environment. I'm very excited that uh, you're joining us. I look forward to learning from you, and I hope that I get to show you a few tricks of our trade as well. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my study. Well, it's not mine, it's my wife's, um, but I'm invading right now as we are all stuck in different scenarios across the world. My name is Tim Wilson, and I am an associate professor for anatomy and cell biology at the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry, and I just wanted to um, invite you to enjoy the instructional skills workshop as our team gathers together to make this a very fun, interactive, informative environment for you. Um, and your future students and invite you to wear different hats as you move aboard uh, this varying example of what might happen in your future and all the tools that you can thus employ to make this happen y'all. So as you can tell it's going to be a good time, we're going to have fun, and we're going to learn a pile. One of the things we know about learning online is that it is not enough to just have content. You have to build community. So one of the things we're going to do is build that community. You will have the opportunity to learn from others, and others are going to have the opportunity to learn from you. ISWO occurs over six weeks. During the first three weeks, you will be participating in lessons with your colleagues. At the same time, you will be preparing your online mini lesson. You will have the entire fourth week to put the final touches on your mini lesson. In the fifth week, you will be facilitating your mini lesson as well as participating as a learner in your colleagues mini lessons. During the sixth week, you will be engaging in reflection and sharing feedback with your colleagues. If you're still unsure about ISWO and how it all works, not to worry. There are two lessons in the first week that will help orient you to the workshop. The first is called How ISWO Works and the second is called Mini Lesson Guidelines. Each week, you will also find a to-do list and a self-assessment quiz to help make sure you're on track. If after completing the first lesson you still have questions, please write them down. We'll be meeting synchronously online at the date and time listed below this video to help you answer any of those unanswered questions or to answer anything else you might want to know about the ISWO. I know that all of your facilitators are looking forward to working alongside you on this six-week journey. Now I'd like to take a moment to break the fourth wall of this introductory video and talk a little bit about why we've created it. One thing that you'll find throughout the ISWO is that we'll take so-called meta moments to talk a little bit about why we've taken a certain approach or why a learning experience is designed in a certain way. It's our hope that in identifying these meta moments, we will help make implicit the best practices in online facilitation and make them more explicit. In this introductory video, the first very obvious reason for creating the video is that it serves as a very high level overview of the workshop. In this regard, you can compare it to the first five to 10 minutes of class. It lets students know what the course is about and what to expect. This video does some other things that are important in the online environment as well. The first is that you get to see us. 
One of the concerns that instructors and students both express in the online learning environment is that it doesn't offer a similar social experience as a face-to-face -face classroom. As you'll learn through reading the Community of Inquiry literature this week, effective online learning is more than simply having students engage with relevant course material, but it's also about getting students to engage with one another and with you, the instructor. So from a student perspective, meeting us through an online video serves to confirm that we are living, breathing human beings and not robots. As such, the creation of an online video like this one is a recommendation that we make to all instructors who are teaching online. It serves logistic, navigation, and social functions, a potent creation.